Moto GP has finally arrived in India this September at the Buddh International Circuit. But wait, why didn't it happen before? Let me tell you why. The Madras Motorsports Club had its own racetrack since the 80s, but we never hosted a Moto GP race. It's only now that we are hosting a Moto GP race at the Buddh International Circuit. Let us take a bit and talk about the oldest racetrack in the country, which is the MMRT or the Madras Motor Racetrack also known as the Madras International Circuit since 2022. The MIC received its FIA Grade 2 license in 2014. FIA license? What is that? All races sanctioned by FIA have to be held at FIA certified racetracks. Right from F1 to Rally, all these circuits need to meet a long list of criteria to qualify. Depending on various factors, the track gets their certification. Highest being Grade 1, which you are allowed to hold F1 and MotoGP races and testing and the lowest being Grade 6 which is Autocross, Rallycross and Ice Racing. Since MIC has a Grade 2 license, it isn't suitable to host a MotoGP race. But let me tell you who has the Grade 1 license in the country. Both international circuit. Let me tell you how and when did BIC held its first F1 race in 2011. <laughs> The plan to first have F1 in India was discussed way back in 2007 between the Indian Olympic Association and the FI, which is when the BIC was planned to be built. The track was eventually completed in 2010 and held its first official Formula 1 race in October 2011. BIC is located in Greater Noida, UP and gets its name from Gautam Buddh, which also happens to be the name of the district. The circuit was designed by Hermann Tilke. Who's he? is a German designer who has also designed other great circuits like Sepang, Istanbul, Lucelle and many more. There are various factors that need to be taken into consideration before you design a racetrack. Things like where the sun is during the day so that the sun doesn't get into the eyes of the spectators. The minimum width of the track which is 40 feet, the longest straight that cannot be more than 2 kilometers and the types of corners. Now we know why MIC couldn't host a F1 race. <laughs> Only 73 circuits in 31 countries have hosted MotoGP and BIC has its name in the list. The Buddha International Circuit is a highly technical 16 corner layout which has long straight, sharp turns and heavy downshifting zones. BIC is the 7th longest circuit on the MotoGP calendar at 5.1 kilometers, while the longest being Silverstone at 5.891 kilometers. If you see the layout of the circuit, the first half comprises of long straights, while the second half comprises of tight chicanes and sweeping corners. There is no previous benchmark, so this will be interesting. The two long straights at BIC means the motorcycles with the higher top speed will have an advantage. The likes of KTM, Ducati and Aprilia will frequently be in the 350km an hour club. With KTM getting those front-end upgrades during the summer break, they could better their existing record of being the fastest motorcycle in a straight line. The KTM lacked that edge grip during the second half of the races, which means the Ducatis and the Aprilias could have an advantage. While the current MotoGP riders look at a lot of data to better their timings, Ducati could have an advantage here considering their test rider Alessandro Valia broke the record here in 2018 which was again broken earlier this year on a Ducati. This circuit is new to all MotoGP riders so it will be tough to make a prediction of who will come on top. Let's hope for a super exciting race. The circuit being an ex-F1 circuit and a place where Sebastian Vettel won his fourth driver's championship. Vettel likes BIC and so do we. While Vettel has the fastest lap here at 1 minute 27 seconds and 249 milliseconds, the MotoGP bikes are around 10 seconds slower on the circuit. We should expect the lap times to be in 130s. I have been lucky to ride here at several occasions and one would really enjoy on the circuit on a 1000cc motorcycle. I would rate the circuit a 4 out of 5, one less because of accessibility and amenities around the circuit. We are very excited that MotoGP is finally coming to India. In the next episode, we are going to take a deep dive into the MotoGP teams. Till then, stay tuned. My name is Mark. Ride safe.